ちゃいますよ。
This is Psalms uh, uh, 50, and I'm starting verse 16. It says, but unto the wicked, the most, this is in the KJV, but unto the wicked, the most high saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Mm -hmm. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, mm -hmm. seeing thou ha hatest instructions mm -hmm. and casteth my word behind thee. Man, because Esau hates instruction, man. You see? Going back on, all the way into that spirit that was in Cain. Right. You see? Because when he got when Cain got mad at Abel, the Lord told him, Why, why, why you basically roughly paraphrasing, why are you mad? You knew, you knew, you knew what to do. Basically, you know what if you do good, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then you know that Cain knew what to do, but Cain just wanted to do his own thing. Yep. You see? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't accepted. You see? So likewise with Esau Edom, man, mm -hmm. he's doing the same thing. That's why the Lord asked, what, what, what have you done to declare my statute, man? Mm -hmm. Seeing that you hated instruction, man. You see, and cast my word behind you. Can you read that verse, that verse uh in the NLT, bro? Okay. This is Psalms 50 and, and verse 16 in the NLT. It says, but but the Most High says to the wicked, why bother reciting my decrees? Man, who was the wicked, man? Mm -hmm. You know, you got to ask yourself that question, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to you new believers that's coming into this truth and, and hearing these videos, mm -hmm. who is the wicked? You see? Because mm -hmm. Esau puts that way. Well, everybody, you know, all people are will. It's all, all it's wicked people in all nations. Well, right. you're right. You got some wicked jakes. You got wicked people. But who is the wicked, man? Yes, you see? Malachi 4 and 1, I mean, 1 and 4 tells you, man, yep. that Esau, Edom is the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. You see that wicked that the Lord created, man. You know, because it is two sides of everything. Mm -hmm. So if you have, like you say, the, the, the Lord's covenant with the who he's going to make perfect, then, like you say, he has the his covenant. And then, like you say, he got a covenant that was set on the left-hand side. And that's going, like you say, when going from uh, uh, Cain Going through uh, Esau, because like you say, they don't accept instructions. You know, uh, Cain, he didn't accept it. Even down to Esau, he didn't accept it. What do you say? Uh, basically, just keep going and you're going to be blessed. And what do you say? What this blessing got to do with me? He gave it up because he, he's weak. He gave it up for um, for some, some for some raw for raw meat and lentils, mm -hmm. you know? I was just going to add. Oh, sorry. No, no, make your point, bro. Okay. Uh, you might read that again. I was going to add to the brother's point that he uh, kind of... Oh, oh, in Psalms 50? Oh, Psalms 50, yeah, come on. You want NLT? Oh, uh, KJV. Both. KJV. Psalms 50 and the KJV, it says, But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Uh -huh. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Mm -hmm. Can you say something about instructions? Uh, ye... 17? Yeah, 17. Come on, come on. Verse 17, it says, Seeing thou hatest instruction. Yeah, mm -hmm. seeing thou hatest instruction, right? <clears throat> you go into that word instruction. It means discipline. It means mm -hmm. discipline, man. Mm -hmm. And it goes back into uh, as the as the brother was just going into, you know, the humble beginnings, if you will, in Genesis twenty fifth chapter concerning Esau, right? How he sold his birthright for a morsel of meat. This man doesn't have discipline, and now this undisciplined man is ruling over the planet Earth, to where you have an undisciplined, uh, 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 um, undisciplined uh, mindset over the people because of the ruler, as Sirach ten and one says. Yeah. As yeah. the rulers, yeah. so are the so are the uh, the, the city. Mm -hmm. You know what manner of the city? You know those people are going to be in. That's right. Pursuant to Ecclesiastes the tenth chapter, right? Woe unto the old land when thy king is a child. See, a, a child doesn't have any type of discipline. Mm -hmm. A child hates instruction. That's why you have to beat them with the rod. See, and that's why Yahweh Shai says what he's going to come with that rod out of his mouth. To yep. beat Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Since you hate instruction, let me just beat your ass into submission. And the Lord's going to use 144,000 men and give us a rod of iron to continue to forward that, man. Because right, right. discipline is going to be back established upon planet Earth. Instruction mm -hmm. is going to be back established upon planet Earth. And it starts here. Mm -hmm. This is the standard, man. That's right. And it's going to actually go into, I'm going to read it. I'm going to go back and read that in NLT. It's going to actually go into that exact thing with the con just broke down. But I just wanted to add to uh, the Quran Benaya, you know, uh, to his point about the wicked. When you, uh, 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 like he said, Malachi uh, uh, 1 and 4, but also Job 9, 24 mm. uh, uh, describes who that is talking about, man. Yep. It says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. What nation did that, man? You know, you don't, if, if, if uh, the, the Hamites did it, you would see a Hamite, uh, a Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the ultimate judge, of course, the Most High Yahweh, then his son Yahweh Shai, and of course, then uh, the Israelites, man. 
who do you see in the land, man? You know, you see so-called whites in the land, man, that right. are claiming to be Jew, call themselves Jewish today. You know what I'm saying? So these are the indicators of what that is. If not, where and who is he, man? You know what I'm saying? So it's clear-cut indicators of who did, who did this, you know? It wasn't the Asians. You know, if you have a, 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 a Buddha or some Asian-looking dude as the Messiah, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So these things are very clear, and you still got dumbass jakes out here. Mm -hmm. That's the, uh, Esau ain't the white man. How not, man? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Jake bugged out out here. But I'm, I'm going to go back and read. Uh, this is Psalms 50 and 16 in the L NLT, 16 and 17. Uh, it says, but the Most High said, says to the wicked... Why bother reciting my decrees and <laughs> pretending to obey my covenant? Woo! Like you all <laughs> Hey! Yeah. You got it, bro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like Joel Osteen be saying before every service, this it's is my Bible. Bible. <laughs> it says who I said. Like, hey, you a goddamn Edomite, man. Exactly. You know? Why are you even bothering having this Bible in your hand? You want me to read a, a, a verse, man. Right. You know? But that just proves who the wicked is. And he's, exactly. he's a low-level Edomite. You know, but mainly we we talking about the head of Esau, man, mm -hmm. going all, all the way up to Amalek, man. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all y'all are wicked. Y'all say that y'all are chosen people, but yet, right? <laughs> but yet you got everybody working on the Shabbat. Don't nobody know what the Passover is. Yep. You know, yep. and you you study the Talmud and you know yep. all these all these bugged out you know bewitched books, man. Who is there pretending? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what they doing pretending. To be those people, man. Yeah. You see? Now, if you really knew the scriptures, you would see that they're not those people. They don't exactly. fit the curses. Mm -hmm. They don't fit the, the, the position that the, 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 cho the true chosen of Israel will be in in the end times. Mm -hmm. The Gahan likes to bring up the point. The, uh, the Gahan Bathak likes to bring up the point all the time going to that word save. Mm -hmm. You know? And how it means to rescue. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're the chosen people... What the hell? What the hell do they need to be uh, uh, rescued from? They're yeah. already on top. They already They're in control top. of every damn thing, man. Yeah. Exactly. Red flag, man. Yep. Flag on the plate, man. You yep. see? That's a clear sign that they are not the chosen people, man. Right. That they are not the true people of the heavenly Father, man. Because if they were, you would have the laws being pushed out throughout the whole planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of heaven will be set up. And we wouldn't have to go back into the land doing the damn bat. Uh, uh, what they call it? The bat. Uh, 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 bat. Bat. Yeah. Right. You know. It wouldn't have to be a law passed and then we get right. to take fucking spirit planes, spirit airlines and get dropped off in the land, man. Right. The Lord said himself in Isaiah 14 that I, I, I will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to do that himself, man. That's right. In front of everybody, man. Mm -hmm. The whole planet Earth is going to see when the Lord comes and get the true children of Israel, man. That's right. right. And they gonna know, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be a miraculous scene, man. Yep. Something you these people ain't never seen ever in their lifetime, man. That's right. So they're <laughs> gonna know that hey, this hey. is of the Lord, man. You know the strangers <laughs> of their salvation, there it man. Is. There it you is. see, these people, like the Kahan said, these people are gonna see it, man. Mm -hmm. That way they gonna know those are the chosen people. That's right. Yep. Those those that we had at the bottom, damn. Right. You know, I got that president who said that, man. Whatever, you know, when we go to heaven and we see that God's black. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I forgot which one of those U.S. presidents said yeah, that, I man. Can't remember either. You know, but he is, man. Right. You know. Was it Ronald Reagan? No, it wasn't. Nah, I wasn't think it was uh, uh, one of those. Uh, uh, what's his name? When John F. Kennedy was. <laughs> nah, it's further back. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm older. But they know. Show you that Esau knows, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You got some more. Yeah, yeah, constantly. Uh, one more verse. Uh, uh, verse seventeen. It says. For you refuse my discipline. That's mm. that instru mm. instruction that the that the brother that uh, the Kahan was saying. Uh, for you for you refuse my discipline and treat my oh, words. Salakia. Salakia. Mm -hmm. Oh, also uh, you refusing discipline. But what happens when you're without discipline? You're a bastard, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture says a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Why? Because he refuses discipline. <laughs> you know, but who's get, who's getting who's getting disciplined day in and day out? We are, man. Mm -hmm. The sons of Yahweh Bashma Shah, right? You so us so called black and Hispanic and Native Americans, man. In the place where it said unto them, We are not his people, there shall be said unto them, We ye are the sons of Yahweh Bashma Shah. Mm -hmm. Because we're calling to mind the blessing and the curse. We're calling to mind the, the, the chastisement he put upon us, man. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the Lord said in Amos 3, 1 and verse 1 and 2. All right, hear the word of the Lord, you chosen of Israel. Okay, verse 2, roughly paraphrasing. You will I you will I punish for all your iniquities. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's discipline, bro. When you being punishment, when you being punished, that's discipline. Mm -hmm. You see, 
And we only see the nation of you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are the ones, man. Mm -hmm. You see? You don't see them damn issues, them small heads being punished, right. man. You know? You see them being protected. Right. You know, you say something against them, here it is, you got the whole world coming to their defense, man. Right. When the scriptures say that the, hey, the, the true chosen of Israel will be proverbs and bywords, man. Yep. You know? When nobody comes to our rescue, man. The Lord said that in Deuteronomy 28. And no man shall buy you, man. That's, right. That's what that word means, man. To redeem. That word buy, okay, goes into the definition to be uh, redeem, man. That's right. You see? Nah. Mm -hmm. Also in Jeremiah 15 and 5, man. Who shall bemoan thee? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who shall ask how thou doest? You know what I'm saying? These, these nations ain't worried about Jake, man. They ain't worried about you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They look down on you, man. Mm -hmm. They like when you're when you're at the bottom because when you're down, they're up. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? We up. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, man, when, hey, when, when you down, they up, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And to that nigga Ronald Dalton, man. You know what I'm saying? The chariots are the vehicles of the angels, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you're going to see that like the Quran went into and, uh, with that wisdom, of, uh, of five, uh, wisdom five and two, man. You know, mm -hmm. the strangeness of his salvation, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So far beyond anything they look for, man. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. Didn't the Lord say he was going to do it bigger than the, than the last, than the flood, man? Yep. Mm -hmm. What? Ain't that bigger? If you see skies lined with what you've been taught you as UFOs beaming up the elect, that's a strange thing, man. Mm -hmm. That's a big event. Yeah. You know, it's going to be scary. <laughs> you know what I'm yep. saying? It's yep. going to be scared the hell out of Ron Dalton. That's right. It's going to scare the hell out your ass, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to come to your senses, but it's going to be too late. This missile going to be coming down. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So let me finish this out real quick. Oh, you got something? Say that, yeah. When you mentioned, like, it's going to be bigger than the cuts uh, coming out of Egypt, that was a big thing. That was heard all over the uh, other right. lands, these other nations. Mm -hmm. When they saw, heard that the uh, Israelites was coming, they were afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they heard what happened in Egypt. Egypt was a powerhouse in those times. Mm -hmm. You know, and Egypt have never been back to that that uh, uh, stature ever since. That's right. So, if it, it, like you say, you got uh, these uh, uh, small heads over there now, bro. They had a war right in the same day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, the sixth day war. That that's not, you know, that's ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? They walked over there. They tried to claim it, like you say, with the Balfour Declaration and all that. That ain't got nothing. To, that ain't got. That did not do Egypt at all when we came about it. So you know that's not that that ain't what it is, you know. So we basically, when the Lord, when you're gonna know when the Lord set up and deliver uh, his his uh, uh, his people out, and like I said, this time it's even gonna be our some of our people. The two thirds are gonna be looking up and like, damn, mm -hmm. damn, that was them those out there mm -hmm. preaching, telling us to turn back, cussing us out. Yeah, that's right. Revelation 11. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the enemies beheld that they was being beat up, man. Man. The enemies uh, is primarily Esau, <laughs> these other nations, and two thirds of Israel. That's right, like the Quran is going into, man. You're part of the enemies right now, man. Ronald Dalton is an enemy right now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's that other nigga? Uh, 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 Geno Jennings yeah, is an yeah. enemy right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And these wayward groups. You know what I'm saying? You got wayward groups out here. I, uh, uh, what's that? What's that group we love? The one body one in your body house shot. Them some two third niggas, man. Yep. Enemies right now, man. And then of course you got something. Just really, make Go your ahead. point. I got right. If you make your point. No, that's I'm good. Go ahead. Just to prove that point about the enemies. Revel I mean Romans eleven and twenty and twenty eight. As concerning the gospel, they are your enemies for your sake. <laughs> but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake. And that's clear. Mm. We ain't got to break that down, man. It, you, he read it, and you if you have any type of understanding, you understand what that... They're your enemies, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we have enemies in this thing. Your, 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 your families, man. your world families, they're your enemies in this time. Hey, we didn't do it. Don't get mad and shoot the messenger, man. You know, am I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Right. Come on, man. You know, if you and if of course if you have any type of spiritual discernment, it, you're not going to take it there. You're going to understand, man. There's there's a council. Yahweh shot when 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 his uh, 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 mom and them came and they were like, you know, your 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 people, you know, look want to seek to talk to you. And he was like, who is my family? You know, and then he pointed to his disciples. Behold, my family, my right. mother, my, 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 you know, my sister, sister and brother, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which is that spiritual family, not your world. He was letting you know that then. Go ahead, up. Matthew 10 and 36. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. <laughs> man, very clear scriptures, man. Your foes are going to be in your household, man. Right. Those are your enemies, man. So, hey, don't get it twisted. We love our families, man. 
You know what I'm saying? But we understand the line, man. Yep. Yep. There's going to be a line drawn in the sand, man. Yep. Yep. Which side you going to be on, man? It's going to determine what's going to go down with you at the end of the day, man. Two-third, one-third. You know what I'm saying? Electing one-third. So real quick, let me just finish this out real quick. Uh, uh, Psalms 50 and 17. Uh, it says, for you, uh, for you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's Esau, man. man. He ain't doing nothing that the Lord said, man. The Lord has a, 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 a established a way to run the earth, man, mm -hmm. and order. Because the Lord is all about order. Let everything be done decently and in order. The Lord, that's a commandment, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga, it does not live according to that. He's adversary. He's the adversary of the Lord and the Lord's people. He's adverse. What is adverse? Adversary. Satan, man. Mm -hmm. This nigga is the uh, a physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan in the earth, man. And he's uh, uh, bringing forth the left hand, man, not the right. So this nigga, like, like them fakes in the land over there uh, uh, with kosher pork, uh, the biggest gay parade in Tel Aviv in, on, on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Kosher cigarettes, uh, humping, wailing wall, whatever that shit is. Little <laughs> beanies on her head when you're supposed to uncover you. Everything contrary, but right. they can't see that these people are not the people and they're the fucking wicked, man. Man, bro. They, they got to ship, like, trees over there and shit, man. Yes. You know, because the land is so desolate, man. Yes. That's artificial, bro. Right. That's not the natural way. Right. The Lord said when the cho when the, when the Israelites are back in the land, the land That's is going to it's gonna be beautified, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. You yep. see? It's going to go from, if you if you watch that old school movie, Beauty and the Beast, when that curse was lifted up off of them, right. how once it was all dark when that curse was on them, and as soon as that curse got lifted, everything brightened up, everything yeah. became beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. likewise with the chosen of Israel, man, when we go back into the land, man, yep. you see, everything is going to be beautified, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because everything is going to be set back in its natural order, man. Because like the scripture said, the Lord made the world for our sake, man. Right. You see? Yeah, and that goes, oh, sorry, bro. You got uh, uh, the scripture say in uh, Romans, uh, the 13th chapter, the night is far spent, man. Mm -hmm. It goes into that, that, that new day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And ain't your house out of day star? That's right. That's good. <laughs> you know, darkness is about the, uh, Esau represents the he's the he's the children of, of the night, man. The children mm -hmm. of the, of, of uh, darkness. We're the children of, of the day, man. The children of light. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's our turn. So just like that, that was a beautiful uh, uh, illustration and example that that the uh, Kahan Benaya just broke down, man. With that darkness being over over uh, uh, the beast, but once that uh, curse was lifted. Lifted, everything became bright, and then he, you know, the, the whole mm -hmm. look changed and beautified, yep. you know. Yep. <laughs> That's what's coming, man. That's, right, That's what's man. coming. Yep. And Jake don't want it, man. Jake, some homeborn slaves, like the scriptures say. Go ahead. Up. It's uh, Psalm chapter 30 and verse 5. For his anger endureth, that, uh, his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Let's read that again. Man. Weeping may endure for a night. And what does scripture say? When the uh, when the wicked are unruled, the people mourn. Mm -hmm. Meaning what? Who's at nighttime, man? Mm -hmm. Yahweh shall say in Luke 22, this is your hour of darkness. Mm -hmm. And when he said that? During the time of the Roman Empire. Yep. All right? So David said, and, and Christian love this verse, man. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy. Why are your ass still depressed in the morning? Mm -hmm. That lets you know that's not literal, man. Right. All right? So this nighttime that people are weeping is when Esau rules. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But joy coming from the morning. That's why Yahweh Shah is known as that bright and morning star, man. That's right. The son of righteousness, Malachi 4 and 2, <coughs> right? With healings in his wings. Healing for what? If you need to be healed, that means you were sick. Right. Why was you sick? Because the wicked was in rulership, giving you plastic protein, mm -hmm. plastic steaks, cricket steaks, you know, GMOs. You got beryllium in the air, and aluminum in the air. Mm -hmm. The women, you know, they got plastic in their ass, plastic in their mm -hmm. chest. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the earth got to be healed, man. Mm -hmm. Artificial. Artificial. It's not man. natural, man. It's not, natural. it's not natural, man. Everything that Esau represents is not natural, man. Mm -hmm. Not the coming, the, the true course that Yahweh Bashim Shah has established, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And that's what our people need to learn, man. You see? Our people, everything, life as you know it, as you've been taught by your enemy, when you another definition when you go into that word that the etymology of that word artificial man it says man made life as you've been told that, that it's supposed to be was man made it was given to you by your oppressor right. he told you this is what life should be you should right. get your ass up and work 
And then when you reach a certain age, you just collect social security and all this shit. He told you that's what life is. And your kids supposed to do it. And right. your kids' kids. But the Lord didn't set it up that way, man. You see? The natural state is that when you go back into Adam, the Lord created the earth. When Adam was on the earth, man, he would, he would just just be exist. Right, right. You just go, the, the earth will pose a brain forth abundantly unto you, man. Mm -hmm. You don't have to work. You don't have to till the ground. That's a curse, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And also a curse of, of, of Cain was that, was that how the earth would not yield forth her, her, her strength, man. Yep. That's why you got GMOs, man. You know? That show, that's another fucking characteristic of who this nigga is, man. Yep. The earth is not yielding her strength to this nigga, man. That's why he has to splice, splice shit and make his own stuff. That's why you got fucking avocados all throughout the fucking year, man. Mm -hmm. Part of my French, you see? You eating watermelon in December. Yeah, man. You no know? seeds. And the Lord, man, and, and the Lord, the Lord did that for a reason, man. To, for it to be special, you can get it on this season, man. Mm -hmm. But you, you would enjoy it more, man. Yeah, yeah. Instead right. of just really, you, you get and then you get tired of that shit. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got something, y'all. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, on. yeah. This uh the book of uh Zechariah uh Salaki, first Maccabees chapter one and verse fifty six. And this is what uh what Esau did, man. You know, this is what Esau did, particularly uh Antiochus, all right, Epiphanes, all right? Verse fifty six and first Maccabees one and fifty six, and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they found, they burnt them with fire. Yeah. Right? And going back to the scripture that the uh, the Kaham read. In Psalms 50 and 16 and 17, mm -hmm. right? In the NLT, it says that you treat my words like trash. Mm -hmm. He literally did that. He burnt the holy books. He burnt the, the law with fire, man. He says, verse 57, And wheresoever was found with any book of the testament, or if any consented to the law, the king's commandment was that they should uh, put him to death, man. Mm -hmm. Proving that, that Esau, hey, for you Israelite groups that saying that the MOTB is Christianity, you're bugged out, man. Esau, <laughs> like Elder Yahshua says all the time, he's done with Christianity. It did its course. It, it helped perpetuate you to be uh, technologically Hellenized, man. And now he's done with it. Now he's trying to do away with the with the words of the Lord altogether. That's right. But see, this is where the prophets come in, man. You know, just as Math uh, Mattathias, right, and his, and his sons, right, there was kind of like that standard. There was that hammer, right, and Esau couldn't fuck with, man. And the Lord was working with them, and it's the spirit, because we're in this we're in the time of uh, uh the feast of dedication now, man. Right? Now the Lord got now the Lord got his men once again upholding that standard, man. You know? Cause all this is is just pretty much a, a Hellenized, a, a technological Hellenization of the whole world now, man. You know, you got people defiling themselves. And he he really wants uh, one main people group to be defiled, and that's us. Because he knows that we're the temple now. He wants to come in and defile us, man, with plastic protein. You know, ultimately the the, the karagma, man. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna read uh, Amos one and eleven <clears throat> in the NLT. It says, "This is what uh, Yahweh says: The people of Edom have sinned again and again, and I would not let them go unpunished. They chased down their relatives, the Israelites, with swords." showing them no mercy. In their rage, they slashed them continually and were uh, unre uh, unrelenting in their anger, all right? And that's what they have done, all right? They will basically destroy their, their uh, the lower tier of the Edomites just to basically get to destroy the nation of Israel. That's what they have been trying to do ever since uh, the, from Cain in the, in the garden, they want to cut off that the bloodline and the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. And with what they're doing now, they're basically like you said. They want to uh, uh, give all. They change all the food. No, everything is unnatural now. Nothing is natural. Mm -hmm. We say, oh, we 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 can do better. We can make this out of this. We can do this. They don't need seeds now to put it in your food. Cause why? Cause they don't want you to make your own food. They don't. They want to cut off everything to be all every all is want to come to him. All right. And when he really get that power, because right, right before he get to, uh, get to uh, fill his belly, the Lord is going to bring a stop to him. But if he gets to a point where he gets you to do for all your wants and needs just by through him, only through him, you can't put no gardens out, you can't do anything, 
that's when he controls who lives and who dies. That's the power of being the Lord. And he want he stands himself as what? He want to be as the most high. That's what Esau is setting up this whole time. And one of the, like I said, the main thing he want to do is get rid of you so-called black Latinos, Native Americans. And your and, and the bloodline that's been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, he want to do away with all of it. That mm -hmm. goes back into the Georgia guys though. He wanted to have 500 million people. You think those 500 million people are gonna have something to do with you, you Israelites? No. If he got if he got to perform his enterprise and, and and basically rule like that, best believe he's planning on wanting to destroy all every every Israelite on earth. Mm. All right, Man. cause he know the prophecy overall. He know what his his uh, uh mm -hmm. his future is supposed to be. Supposed to be destruction. So he want to offset the prophecy, but he want to become like God. So he want to basically offset the prophecy, but get rid of God's people. Hey, and not only, hey, and hey, hey, this is Psalms 83, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not only Esau, but these other nations, they in cahoots with him as well, man. Yep. That's why you see them pushing forward to this digital currency. Mm -hmm. That's why you, they, they going there. When you read the same, every 16, they said, woe to, woe to, I think it's either 16 to 17, where it say, woe unto Asia, mm -hmm. because you have made yourself like unto yeah. her, you know? So these other nations are in cahoots, man. They don't want, because they know once the nation of Israel, going back to the book of, the book of Judith, man. You know, I think it's chapter five, man. How I said that, that, that if we keep them, if we keep them in sin, that we can, we we'll have control. Yep. But if they get back, in, if they get back in line with their power, then it's over. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You see, and that's what that's what Esau is on, man. He's 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 trying to cut us off ultimately, and that he, that ultimate cutoff is gonna be through that RFID microchip, man. That's right. You best fucking believe it, man. You see, and you got camps out there who's who telling you. Well, uh, they, they been talking about ain't, ain't nothing about the chip. Ain't they? They talking about chips and ships and and all this. Yeah, nigga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You talking about they ain't nobody talking about. But here it is. You seeing articles every damn day about digital currency, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of them switching up the currency. So what are you talking about, mm -hmm. man? You see, the yeah, Lord is making all this known, man. The Lord is unveiled, like like your house shot said. It ain't gonna be everything is being revealed, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see, you got something, bro? God, it's uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen. Oh, and also if I could add, you know, going back into uh, that, uh, the book of Maccabees, um, see, because the brother had mentioned how all these other nations, how they're in cahoots with Esau. They're working together with Esau, you know, to, to pretty much uh, uh, do away with us. Mm -hmm. Now, that reminds me in the, in the book of First and Second Maccabees, all right, how you had all those other nations, like when, when Antiochus Epiphanes was really, you know, going hardcore to try to hell now the whole world. Um... You know, all those other nations, they consented. They gave up their gods. No problem. Mm -hmm. Right? But but when it, when it came to us, he was very, Esau was very tactical and methodical on how he approached us. Where did he go? He went to that priesthood, man. He knew if he could corrupt that priesthood, everything else would just fall in line. Yep. That's why he went to the top, Mattathias, man. He says, hey, if I could get you to eat the pork first and sacrifice upon this altar, well, then your, son, and then, uh, your sons and I'll give y'all gifts, then everybody else would do it. See, but he see, he sees that that the house of David in these times can't be bribed, man. The stand is it, stopping, bro. And this is why he's about to just go fucking hardcore, man. Yep. He's about to go ballistic, bro, because he knows, like, God damn, that standard's still in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you damn right, the standard's still in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about Shah's about to make a, 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 a full effect of every vision, man. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse uh, five. Behold, saith Yahweh by Shemal Shah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And where's that wickedness stem from? All right, the wickedness stems from the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, David says in Psalms 37 chapter, all right, he says, I have seen the wicked spreading himself like a green bay tree. All right, a green bay tree spreads its uh spreads those branches all over that land around it, man, making it dark. All right, so wickedness that has polluted the whole earth has came from this wicked tree. Yep. All right, Esau yeah. Edom. If okay. I could quickly say, uh, we had John Sally that was on Shannon Sharp uh, show, and he really basically brought up, like I said, wickedness polluted the whole earth. He was like, hey, when you're looking at Kanye West, you got to think about with some going on with him. You gotta look at the big picture, like what's really going on. Like he, said, he mentioned, like you got a, a war that's about to happen. He was like, this ain't just no regular war. You got, he said, like he said, white folks against white folks. This Edomites against Edomite. He was like, this is this war can change land masses. 
this can be it's basically going to change the whole uh, uh um the the whole atmosphere of the world the whole thing is going to change so that lets you know who is the wicked and who runs the world because it's if he's saying that basically when white folks against white folks about to go to war it changed the whole dynamic of the world you know so this is basically the the, the hey hello is i i, I open to say you know when you went we went to iraq america went to iraq america went to syria uh, uh all these different wars that they had went and been fighting really was just nothing you know i ain't say it's nothing but it was it wasn't nothing compared to what's to come it's like world war one world war two now you got world war three with all these different nuclear bombs that everybody have now they didn't have in the first world wars so this is something to let you know that if somebody runs the world they can basically change the whole world in the blink of an eye and that's esau Edom. so that lets you know that who's running the world so that is the wicked that's who has polluted the whole world. Every back since going from the Greeks, the Romans, and now to, like you say, America, you know what I'm saying, Russia, all these different countries, you know, the European nation, majority of them, they basically are Edomites. And this is so funny, bro. It's really funny because hey, it reminds me of Matthew, the 12th chapter, Yahweh shot, speaks about how Satan, you know, uh, you know, pretty much cast out himself, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, houses, a house. You know, divided, you know, shall, shall not, you know, a kingdom divided shall not yeah, stand. Right. This is pretty much like, a, you know, like you had a family reunion. You know, all y'all, y'all blood. You know what I'm saying? But at the middle of nowhere, y'all just started throwing bowls. And it's just like a drunk slug fest. <laughs> that's like, those are the ugliest fights. Mm -hmm. Niggas get shot. You know, like, that's what, that's what this is, man. It's just an Edomite on Edomite brawl, man. Yep. You got Satan against Satan, bro. So, you know, the earth finna get nasty, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish it out. Verse 6, it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Hurtful works, man. Key word, hurtful. Everything this man does is, is hurtful, bro. You know, even when he says that it's for your good, it's hurtful. You right. take some Tylenol, that's hurtful. It may, you know, ease the pain, but you're going to have some side effects. It's going to hurt you, man. Mm -hmm. Take blood pressure medicine from this man. It may help a little bit, right? But you're going to have side effects. It's going to hurt you, man. You get married in this society. It may feel good at first. You get that honeymoon phase, but it's going to hurt. <laughs> right. You know, everything is going to fucking hurt, man. Every, this whole earth is corrupted by this man's hurtful works. Mm -hmm. Right? The food you eat. That's a hurtful work. This is a war. Everything is a fucking war, man. This is why scripture says in Ephesians the sixth chapter. I was about to get right? Oh, God. <laughs> God. Okay. I, I'll wait till you get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is spiritual warfare, man. You know, and it's playing out in the physical as well, bro. This is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. It reads, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities. Yeah. Against power. It says against principalities. And you go into that word principalities, it pretty much goes into like uh, particular like provinces. Mm. And that's ruled by different demons. And like you can feel it. Cause like I know over there where I live, mm -hmm. it's like a it's, it's like a Fort Worth demon. You go to Dallas, it's like a Dallas, a specific yep. demon for that area. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in the in the whole earth, it's it's still ran by 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 Satan, mm -hmm. by the wicked, right? But it's like different layers of demons, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Like you go to Stop Six, that's a <laughs> real <laughs> demon over there. It's a different type of demon, man. That's those principalities it's talking about. Mm -hmm. That's why you could feel, you could like you go back home to like wherever you from. You like he's like, damn man, this demon feel familiar. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you know this thing is real, so like, kind of no, you good, bro. It said, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of, of the darkness of the world. That's that darkness again, that night, man. Mm -hmm. The rules of the night, which is Esau, man. The rules of the darkness, man. Mm -hmm. And this man loves it, you know, but yet the Lord is so gracious and merciful. He's given us light mm -hmm. in this dark land, mm -hmm. you know, but men love darkness rather than light mm -hmm. because their deeds were evil. You got it. And, and the scripture saying in Isaiah, the 60th chapter. That uh, uh, this earth is in darkness and these people in gross darkness. So these people are through. The earth is through, but the, these people are really through, man. These people are bugged out. They're, the, the earth is in darkness because of Esau and all his wickedness and lies and deceptions. But these people are uh, who've been, uh, you know, taken by all of that. You know what I'm saying? They believe this nigga. He's the ultimate liar. Right. You know what I'm saying? But they believe everything this nigga says when the scriptures tell you he's a liar. Never trust thine enemies. Sirach 12 and 10. You know what I'm saying? But the but two third of of, of, of uh, Jake 
Put total trust in this dude. When the scriptures tell you not to trust in oppression, man. That's right. You got something up? Real quick, real quick for you. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 12, verse 3. It says, There can no good come to them that is always occupied in evil, <clears throat> nor to him that giveth no alms. No hey, like I say, no, no good, uh, no good can come to you that basically is always occupied. Even if you're walking in the ways of the world, the world is full of evil. I mean, it's full of evil. That's why you know, being the men of the Lord, we basically put off that old man and we basically walk circumspectly because the days are evil because the world is evil. All right, we always got to look around because it's nothing good here. All you see is. The moles walking around constantly. They give me. Uh, then you just mentioned in San Francisco mm -hmm. with the. Um, yeah, it's a guaranteed income for uh for them for them uh, trans mother uh you know what transformers. You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. the transformers. It's a guaranteed income. Like this ain't no conspiracy mm -hmm. theory. This right. ain't no hearsay or no. This is a this is an actual thing going on. They yeah. giving you know income like guaranteed income for people that crossed over on the other side, man. You get benefits for being wicked. Yeah. Yep. You know, if you're doing good and you're basically walking in the ways of the Lord, then you're not, you, you're going to get looked at, looked down upon this, you know, in this world. Let you know that uh, the, the, the the world is not following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. These damn Christian churches are not following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because there's a billion Christians out there mm -hmm. and the Lord is not really having uh, returned yet. Hey, even the way how America was founded, man, you know, it, it didn't follow the way that the Lord prescribed, mm -hmm. you know, because it said, it said you should not build a town out of blood and, establish, mm -hmm. and establish a city off iniquity, man. Yep. Right. And that's exactly how America was founded, man, through the bloodshed and through bloodshed, robbery and murder, man. Yep. You see, crooked way. That's why it says in Sirach 10 that through, through uh, what, injuries mm -hmm. and riches gotten yeah, by the seat. The kingdom shall be translated to, from one people to another, man. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that transition right now, man. You see? We're seeing all that right now, but I got one mm -hmm. real quick, bro. So Rock 14 and 5, it says, He that is evil to himself... That's a spirit. I was just holding mm -hmm. that. Uh, <laughs> That's a spirit, bro. <laughs> it says, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Mm -hmm. He shall not take pleasure in his goods, man. You see, if this nigga is evil to, him own, to his own self... Here it is. This nigga's polluting the whole earth and the water and everything. This is air that that nigga has to breathe in, man. Yep. He's evil to him own to his own self, man. And you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are looking at this nigga to do good to you. Right. Mm -hmm. What more is it gonna take, man? For you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans to wake up, man, and see that this man is the devil, man. Before we started the camera, man, we was talking about how these how these people, how you jakes, and when we say jakes, man, we're talking about you so you uh, the, the nation of Israel, man. Right. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. You see? How do you how are you so-called how you jakes don't see that this man is the devil? Right, right. The deceiver, man. You see? He masquerades himself as an angel of light. Yep. Mm -hmm. You see? That's what makes it so dangerous. Bro, that's why the 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 spell that he casts. This nigga's a warlock, man. Yep. That word, white. We're white. Yep. We're pure. We're in white. White represents pure innocence, man. Mm -hmm. And when our people look at that, they that's what they, they they mind automatically go to that and they trust that, man. This nigga set up his image going back to Job nine and twenty four, like the Gahan said earlier, man. Yep. In the lesson, <clears throat> he says that in our people, and he put and that that images, bro, have power. Yes, it do. That's why you got our people so strung up in Christianity until this day, man. They so willing to forgive these damn devils, man. But here it is, you quick to kill your own people over some dumb shit, man. Yeah. That show, this nigga, this nigga is a fucking warlock, man. Mm -hmm. Come on. You got something? Yeah, you keep reading on that all the way down to like verse 10. Come on, verse, four, uh, verse 6, it says, There is none worse than he that is in, the envieth himself. See, read that again up. <laughs> Come, verse 6 it says, There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And that's what you see. Satan divided against Satan, man. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Russians are envied against the Babylonians and vice versa, man. There is nothing worse than that, bro. Why? Because what's going to lead to that? Atomic nuclear blast, man. Right. That's right. what happens when you envy yourself, man. It's like you get in the mirror and you jealous of your own goddamn self. What the fuck? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Why it looks so good? Hey, wait, man. Fuck you, nigga. What you got? It says, <laughs> and this is cussing out your own self, man. Like, but that's like for real. Mm -hmm. You putting everybody else at risk because you hate yourself. You got it. It says, and this is a this is a recompense of his wickedness. Ooh, that's a payback of his wickedness. So you pretty much paying your own self back by hating yourself. Mm -hmm. You hate your own family, right? You you hear these you hear these stories of uh, these Edomite fathers. 
right? You know, they, they, they kill their wife, they kill their children, you know, because he's right, envious of, he's envious of his son, mm-hmm. you know, his son is taller than him, and shit, you know, you got it. Come on, verse seven, and these are just, you know, low level examples, but these things, it, <laughs> it trickles, it goes all the way up to the top, man. Yep. You know, you got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, it says, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. If he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. So if he mm-hmm. just, by happenstance, did help your black ass out, it wasn't on purpose. He didn't mean to do that. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> he didn't mean to uh, give you a grace period on your light bill. He just yeah. had a glitch of the computer. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then he hit the yeah. wrong button. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It says, and at the last, he would declare his wickedness. At the last, and we're in the last Ooh. times, man. Mm-hmm. man. He's going to declare his wickedness. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's that's how you're going to know who your enemy is. But it's going to be too late for our people. Because yep. they don't have that sense of discernment, man. That's why you got to measure the times diligently within itself. Seeing, okay, when's the last days? What's the what's the end of the time? Because you know at that time, that's when he's going to truly show, him, show them horns, man. Mm-hmm. Right. He's going to declare that wickedness. That's right, brother. Revelations 12 and 12, bro. You know, he about to come down having great wrath yep. because he knows that he has but a short period of time left, man. He knows he's at the end of his kingdom, man. All of the things that the Khan just went through and, and read and the brother broke down are all signs and indicators of the end of a nation and empire. Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, uh, the uh, age, mm-hmm. the, the uh, I own. Right. You know what I'm saying? Indicators, man. You know, we're at the end, man. You know what I'm saying? But... This nigga can't change, man. You know, he is who he is. The Lord created this Proverbs 16 and 4. Yep. You know, he the Lord created all things to himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we're, that evil day is upon us now. So can I read this real quick? This is Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard its spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. And the answer is no, man. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is accustomed to doing evil. That's all he knows. Mm -hmm. He was created the wicked for that purpose, man. So, Jake, why would you expect him to change, man? You know, and try to save this nigga, man. He's not savable. You know what I'm saying? This nigga is not going to change. He's the devil, man. He's the wicked. He's a liar. You know what I'm saying? All of those those things, uh, 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 you know, are telltale signs of who this man is, man, Mm -hmm. and who that's talking about. You know? I got something. So rock 13, I mean, so, yeah, so rock 33 and 13, it says, as the clay is in the potter's hand mm-hmm. to fashion it as it, at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him best, you know, because you may, you know, you may have new believers that come in and, you know, just coming out of Christianity. Well, why would God do that? Because like it said, man, we're a clay in the, in the Lord's hand, man, mm-hmm. you know. So he can do basically whatever the potter, when he has that ball of clay, he, he has the power to do whatever he wants with it. Mm-hmm. You see? And you don't see the, the pot or, the, or, or whatever he makes getting mad at him. Why you make me a pot? Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? It said, I'm going to keep going, bro. Verse uh, uh, 14. And it's, because it's a part of the story. Mm-hmm. It's the way the, the, the Lord set the story up, man. It says, it says, verse 14, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Amen. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Mm. And that's what the Lord, that's the way the Lord set it up all the way from the beginning. The righteous seed versus the wicked. Right. Mm-hmm. You see? He's a man of war. You exactly. Know it says set against, that means mm-hmm. an opposition against. Shit. Opposition goes to what? War. Yeah. This is how the Lord wants. He's a man of war. Mm-hmm. You know? And it's the counsel of his will. So this is why you know the Lord is he's really you know forming our minds to to think you know like like a like a, like a warrior man yep you know understand that, that's why like knowing that you're in a battle you you want have the battle already see that's why two thirds of our people they about to be caught off guard because they, they they not even understand they're in a war but they're not understanding that they're in a war mm-hmm. you know yeah but see this is why it's, it's a beautiful thing to know the fathers you know uh, and how Bahashim Yahushas you know uh, uh, character. You know, mm-hmm. any man loves a good fight. You know, you pay you pay top dollar to watch a pay per view fight just to see two niggas beat 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 the hell out of each other, man. Exactly. And that's what the Lord's doing. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. When you go into uh, like scripture, he says he wise. Uh, Esau is like wiser than Daniel. When you look at him being wiser than Daniel, you, you got to think he used to uh, whip our backs. He used to uh, do things physically, 
and now he basically is, is, is uh got that that he defeating us uh, uh, mentally. You know what I'm saying? You know he he's basically setting it up and having our people all dumbed down. You know, mentioned earlier like what uh, that that movie uh, Idiocracy. He got he got the world so dumbed down, especially you so called black Latinos and Native Americans. And we, like you said, we say Jake. That's short for uh, Jacob, for Abraham, Jacob, and uh, I mean Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He have thank you that you're winning in this world, but no, you're not, bro. You gotta live uh, uh, check for check. You gotta go around and you can say, oh, uh, uh, I see white people doing it too. But I mean, you gotta look at the look at the whole picture, look at them as a whole. No, they they, they got generational wealth. A lot of them do. You know what I'm saying? The Amalekites, generational wealth. For us, what we have is debt. When I pay, when somebody in our family passes, our generation leaves us with debt. He has basically has destroyed us physically, and now he's been destroying it and breaking us down mentally. This man, our eyes are full of deceit and mischief. All right, he's a warlock. I've, I got one real quick. This is uh, Psalms 36, started verse one. It says, "The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of Yahweh Shai before his eyes." For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. And like I say, now his iniquity are being, is being hateful. It's being found to be hateful. All right. They're starting to, like I say, now it's being revealed of who they really are. You know, now we got even a two thirds question and like, you know, hey, so if we are the real people, who are those over there, those small heads over there? You know what I'm saying? They starting to question. They hear from a, a rich man. But the thing is, at least they they starting to listen and, and, and we're starting to ask questions now. Mm -hmm. it says, verse 3, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has left off to be wise and to do good. His his uh, He devises mischief upon his bed. He said of himself in a way that is no, not good. He abhorreth not evil. Hey, this man, basically, when they wake up, he is basically already <coughs> setting up to be uh, wicked. He's already, He wake up every day looking to see what he can do to bring more death and destruction unto, like you say, so-called black Latinos and Native Americans so he can succeed in his uh, uh, agenda. Because his whole agenda is basically to be on top and do away with the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, it's, it's two sides. You have the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And he's look. He, the elites know that they're on the left hand side. They are the evil, all right. They are the evil of this world, and they control the world at this time. They know about Job nine and twenty four. So what they're trying to do? Okay, what can we do to stay on top? When you're on top, that's what you do, right? You say, what can I do to stay on top? When you win the championships, what can we do next year to continue to win? And that's why I had these summits and different things to say, what can we do to continue being on top and destroy these these niggas out here. That's why there's no other safety else other than I mean there's no other safety outside of the scripture, man. Because mm. like this gives you the this tells you the problem and it tells you the solution. That's right. You know, like you can't go to any other type of text or so-called philosophy to to get you know the, the answer. Like <clears throat> you know Islam, you go to Quran, they're not gonna tell you who the wicked is, but <laughs> the wicked still ruling. Yeah. You know the Book of the Dead, they're not gonna tell you who the wicked, but the wicked still ruling. Mm. You know, so the Bible is reality, bro. Right. And it gives you the solution on how to stay safe. You know? Man. And it shows you what who salvation for. Right. This is who salvation's for, man. Mm -hmm. The people that's in danger. It's the Israelites, man. Right. We're in danger against our own brother, man. Psalms the 50th chapter. Thou slandered thy own brother's son. I mean thy own mother's son. You frame it, you frame mischief, you know, and then you slander him, and then you want to kill him, man. So we need salvation, and the Lord has given us a heads up. This is why it's very important to pay attention, man, yep. to what's being said, you know, what was written down, right. and pay attention to what's going on, man. Don't don't walk as, as a goddamn fool, man. You got to walk circumspectly, man, because mm -hmm. this is real. This just ain't, you know, brothers just, you know, uh, the Holy Spirit gave us scriptures, you know, and to, to go precept upon precept and, you know, turn the camera. No, it's way deeper. This is life, bro. Yeah. This is actually happening, bro. And if you're not on schedule to what's happening, you're going to die. Yep. That's why the scriptures say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Yeah. None of them shall want their mates, man. Because you made them point about like Islam, bro. Here it is. They, they, you know, they always got to revert back to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Don't even read out of their own damn book they so-called believe in, man. Yeah. 
Why? Because there's no prophecies in there. There's no truth in it, man. Yeah. That's why you see Farrakhan always reverting back to the Bible. No, nigga, read the Quran. Yeah. Where the prophecies at in that, man? Yeah. Never say I read the Quran. The nigga don't no, never, bro. He always revert back to the Bible because the scriptures are true, man. That's right. You see, like the brother said, through through you seeing the you seeing these scriptures, like this, like it says, man. Hey, those shall tarry. Wait for it. You know, like it says in the book of Habakkuk, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because it shall come, roughly paraphrasing, man. Yeah. And we're seeing all this take place right now, man. Through the words of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh this kingdom is being brought down, man. And you're seeing another king, kingdom rising up mm -hmm. right before your eyes. The nation of Israel, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you see the rising up of the uh, house of David, man. Yep. Yeah. You see, he, like it says in Amos, he rebuild, he's rebuilding that, the, 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 uh, uh, the house of David in the days of old, man. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what you're seeing happening right now, man. You see, the Lord said in Jeremiah will make my word. It is not my words like fire. You see, it's not my words like a hammer that break in pieces. You see, this word through only through us speaking, bro. Speaking this word, man. You seeing this? You seeing the whole earth in chaos, man? Because of the word, man. Yahweh shall say himself, man. This gospel, this gospel shall be preached because there is only one true gospel, whether you people believe it or not, man. Right. That shows you have no true faith in the scriptures, man. Oh, well, everybody, nobody gonna have all the truth. That ain't what the scriptures say. You don't, right. I, you don't believe in the scriptures, then, man. Mm -hmm. You can't say you believe in the scriptures, then. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say a little leaven, leaven the, a little leaven, leaven, leaven the, the whole, lump. whole lump, man. That's right. You see, so you gotta believe in the scriptures wholeheartedly and everything it stands for, man. Yep. And through right. this, man, we seeing this kingdom go down, man. We seeing it being translated. You see, we know we close to the end, man. We close to our Lord Yahweh Shai coming back, man, and saving us, cause we're the ones who need to be rescued. The nation of Israel is scattered all throughout the all throughout the planet Earth, going through hell, man, right. being oppressed and at the bottom, man. No matter where you are on the planet Earth, man, we need rescuing, man. Hey, that's right. why Scripture says in Psalm seventy three, "For they are not in trouble as other men," mm -hmm. you know, and that they that's talking about that's not in trouble is talking about these Edomites and all these heathens, man. Because mm -hmm. hey, just because we get on Esau, you know, <laughs> a lot of times that don't mean that you other heathens, you know, Elam and Ishmael. And, right. I don't mean y'all, y'all letting this guy free, bro. You know, First Maccabees two and eight says, "For what nation have not had a part in her spoils, man?" Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we went to go do that toilet seat. Oh man, remember yeah, we yeah. saying them damn Elamites, man? Them niggas was living it up, man. They have a big ass. Everybody pulling up, bro. Literally, all these niggas pulling up in 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 in, in BMW, Maybach, BMWs, BMWs yeah. Mercedes, yeah, 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 man. Nigga had the I eight, yep. was stunting, man. Everybody showed up on time, dressed good. Mm -hmm. It was a fucking Tuesday night. What was it? Was it Monday or Tuesday? No, nah, it was a. Uh, it was it was Monday. Yeah, Monday, yeah, oh, yeah, Monday yeah, night, yeah. bro. They showed up at sh seven o'clock sharp. You could smell the <laughs> rice and the curry yeah, and the man. lamb outside. <laughs> and I mean, this brother, we tired, just got off of work, you know. We on a budget trying to eat shit. Yeah. They over there, you know, they not in trouble like other men. Nope. We need salvation, man. Yep. And this world was made for our sex. And we got to suffer looking at these people li living it up in our world, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> so we need salvation. I got to, uh, uh, you, uh, you have more? No, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shah, is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. What's that testimony? The spirit of prophecy. Prophecy is sure, bro. Prophecy is not going to fail. It says making wise the simple because we were all simple before having the spirit of prophecy put upon us. Simple as hell not knowing what was going on on planet Earth. See, this is why scripture says, you know, uh, um, uh, Sirach the 39th chapter, you know, to meditate continually in the in the in the prophecies, man. Right. Because mm -hmm. when you you know get your mind you know uh, uh, oriented uh, uh, in the prophecies, it's going to turn you into a wise man instead of simple, man. Verse eight, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, meaning the mind. It says the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes, meaning you you have understanding. You know, and Jake, their eyes are darkened, man. That's your how I shall send them back to the sixth chapter. You got it. Yes, sir. Uh, like you say, uh, uh, you was just reading that. I wanted to land back because uh, the Lord, like you say, we're looking for prophecies. You know, and we're, and and now we're basically we're we're singing that new song, pushing forth those prophecies. You know, and they, we're starting to see them happen. Psalms uh, ninety six, started verse one. It says. Oh, sing unto Yahweh a new song. Sing unto the Lord all, all the earth, 
Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. And we're showing forth his salvation from day to day. We're on the highways and byways. We're ba uh, basically bringing out, telling you the name of the Lord, telling you to repent, telling the hey, salvation is near. The, the Lord is, uh, like it says in, uh, 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 what is that, uh, Revelation, I mean, uh, Second Ezra is nine, you know, we're measuring the time diligently. The Lord is starting to visit the earth more and more. So we're saying we've got but a short time to turn and, and turn your way. This is the new song that we're preaching now. Mm -hmm. All right. They, uh, a lot of people in the world, like you say, this this uh, word been going out since like the late 50, uh early 60s. And the name of the Lord has been going out, but a lot of people didn't hear it. Now, like I say, through the YouTube and through all, like I say, that's the unicorn. Through all these, we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And now this word is being scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. The Lord, you ain't had no excuse if you don't get this understanding. You don't turn back to the Lord. This new song is being sung, if, if you like it or not. It's not going to stop. It's on repeat. It's on repeat. You know? That's right. And Jay, you know, you play a song too much. Jay started to get agitated, man. Mm -hmm. To the point where he almost ready to fight you. Man, turn it. I already heard it, bro. Turn that shit up, man. <laughs> Three times. You know, they're ready to start Three fighting. Time. That's but it's your favorite song, though. Yes, it is. You know? Yeah. Now, I'm going to stay on the ox, man. Mm -hmm. See, the prophet's going to stay on the ox, man, to the Lord. You know, tell us, all right, y'all can turn it off now. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And those that got the song memorized, that was able to learn the song, now you're qualified to be in the chariots, man. Yep. That 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 uh, uh, exclusive club. Yeah. You know? This is verse 3. It says, declare his glory among the heathen, Woo! his wonders among all people. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Like we said, even we go back to Psalms 83, they tried to cut us off of being a nation, starting with Edom. It goes into the Ammonites, the Moabites, you know what I'm saying, the Hagarines, all these different nations, you know. But yet, we're basically declaring who our Lord is and declaring who we are amongst all these heathens. And, you know, and that's basically bringing down this whole kingdom of Esau Edom, because basically these heathens help hold this kingdom up, because they cut us off of being a nation and made him be the power of the earth. Well, we know it's through the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, but we know that, like you say, they let him rule because they he come up with the master plan. Let's cut these guys off, and we can rule. You know, mm -hmm. it says uh, verse uh, four. It says, "For the Lord is great, Yahweh is great, and greatly to be praised. That's right. He is to be feared above all gods. Man, above Esau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and the reason why people's minds is blinded." Because the God of this world, Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter. That's right. See, that's it. you know, you you worshiping the image of the beast and bound down to the image of the beast, bro. That's idolatry, man. You know, you you partaking in, into this man's society, you esteeming this man to be a god. Yep. That's idolatry, man. This man is just nothing but dirt, dust and dirt and clay. Hey, he that is a king today shall be worms and dirt tomorrow. That's right. But yet you esteeming that, man, as if that, as if that's the most high, you know? And that's why uh, Matt of Thought, I'm going to keep referencing Matt of Thought because, you know, spirit been on me, like, you know, you know, because it's a feast of dedication, you know, and that's a, that's a heavy story, man. Very yeah. spiritual, you know? But that's why Matt of Thought is, uh, Matt of Thought is, you know, has slew, has slew that man that was going up to the altar to go, uh, uh, you know, sacrifice that pig, man. It was a Jake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was a Jake, man. He had the same spirit Phineas had up on him, man. Mm -hmm. That's the same spirit the prophets got, mm -hmm. you know, ready to show forth judgment, man. You know, now we know we can't do nothing right now physically, not until Yahweh shall come. That's right. You know, but we could do something by, by bringing out the, the, the words of judgment up on you, man. Mm -hmm. But you say we can't judge you. Right. All we're doing is speaking. That's all and you doing. niggas getting cut. So just imagine once that Yahweh Shemar shop make us hunters, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to put his fury, his anger and vengeance upon us, man. That's right. Because we can't, bro, we don't hate Esau. I'm going to say that again. We don't hate Esau enough. And we don't hate these two thirds enough either, man. You know, that's why the Lord is going to have to change us, bro. Because mm -hmm. this flesh, like the type of anger, like the brother was talking about earlier, man. The type of anger that the Lord, you know, really has toward these devils that he wants to display towards us. Our flesh, this feeble frame that we got won't be able to handle that anger, bro. Mm-hmm. That's right. Just like uh oh Salaki. So like no, really. Oh yeah, just like uh um uh what's it? Uh is it Gideon slew him with the uh jawbone? No, no Samson. Samson, Salaki, so like, yeah, Samson. Hey, scripture says that uh the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, man. Mm -hmm. You know? The spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. He had heaps upon heaps, body on bodies, man. Just with a jawbone of an ass, bro. Yep. 
Hey, and when Samson got their spirit back after they, you know, uh, Delilah got his hair cut and things like that, they had them play. They were basically bringing them a bond when they doing their feast and they chained them up, trying to show them off to everybody. He got his strength back and he prayed to the Lord when his hair grew back out. And what did he do? He pushed those, uh, pushed those uh, pillars down and he said he slew more, uh, more, what was it, the Philistines? Then? Yeah, yeah they, 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 he slew more of the Philistines than he did in his whole lifetime. Man. You know, and that's how we're going to do. When the Lord put that spirit on us, we're going to come back and we're going to be able to destroy so so many of these heathens and these, you know, even these two-third niggas. Man. We're going to, bro, the Lord, put it, and we ain't going to have no remorse. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't going to have it like, oh, man, I feel sorry for doing it. No, because we know it's going to be in righteous anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scripture say, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, cause the uh, the scriptures say that uh, uh, we gonna be the the battle axe and weapons of, of war uh, uh, for the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And when you read in Ezekiel the 25th chapter, he tells you. Which can I read it real quick? Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 14. It reads, "And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom mm. by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do an Edom according to <laughs> mine anger." Yeah. Hey, and a, it's like I'll make a quick point, man. He said he's going to lay his vengeance upon Edom by his people Israel. Mm -hmm. Just like the Lord laid his vengeance upon us through Esau. Mm -hmm. yep. ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't that a, ain't that a, a balance? A, a yeah, righteous yeah. balance? It is. You, you know? <laughs> Bro, how, you, how is everybody going to be delivered and you just love and they're not going to be delivered? They're talking about getting, he said, on Edom. He's talking right. about a whole nation. Mm -hmm. So how are they going to be delivered? Exactly. Psalms 149, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Yeah. The, it ain't all love, bro. You, you, all Jake, y'all gonna y'all gonna come out of that madness before yeah. it's over with. Yeah, you know, the, the scriptures are saying what they say, and it's mm -hmm. not lining up with Christianity, man. Mm -hmm. Christians are through. Uh, uh to Ezekiel 25 and 14, and I will lay my vengeance upon upon Edom. So the Lord is vengeful against these people, man. Mm -hmm. He has vengeance towards them, man. You know, because he hates them. They're the vessels of, of dishonor fitted to wrath and destruction, man. They were created to be destroyed. Yep. Seeing it is a righteous thing. <laughs> what was that? What was that, bro? Uh, Saying that's 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 yeah. 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 yeah, man. To lay a recompense on those that, you know, bro, 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 paraphrasing, yep. man. Yep. You yep. see? It said that's righteous, bro. Mm -hmm. yep. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hey, these people don't know the, the, the true nature uh, the, you know, of the Lord, man. Right. You know, they don't know how the Lord moves, how he gets down. They don't know nothing about the Lord. They know Jebus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the, like the God mentioned, you know, the God mm -hmm. of this world, man, mm -hmm. which had blinded the mind of them that are lost. Mm. Two-thirds of the nation of Israel, you Jakes, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are lost, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why they're in the spirit of love because mm -hmm. Esau taught that. That's a left-handed a, a one-sided thing because he's not going to do just like this guy mentioned. I don't know. I believe it's but before the camera started rolling. But then they'll get scared, uh, afraid of a cop, man, mm -hmm. because they know that that love ain't going to be reciprocated, man. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> it was, it's plantation. It's to you. Love your your uh, uh, plantation master, but I don't love your ass. I'm gonna mm -hmm. beat your ass, but <laughs> love me. That's Esau's right. mo, man. That's yeah. his mode of operation. Now, that's how he gets down, man. That's that's he was built that way. <laughs> To hate your ass and to kill you, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Your ass on the plantation. <laughs> and he raping your wife. Right. He raping your little daughter. He beating your ass on the back every fucking day. But then he give you a church. I'm so glad Master let us go to church. Right. That's how you that's the energy you niggas still got today, man. Right. God damn, bro. Bro, this shit is is really vexing, bro. It is. Very, man. Like you niggas, bro, y'all are too goddamn simple, bro. Yes. You know? Yes. And y'all too old. Yo. Yeah, niggas in their late twenties and thirties and forties, and you, bro, you fighting, you fighting your own brothers, man, just because this man can't be saved, man. Right. <laughs> Even if you wasn't in the truth, bro, you still right, too goddamn right. old, man, yeah. to be thinking like that. You, a, you a man, bro. Yeah. Girl, up your fucking lawyers, Jake. That's right. We've been a goddamn faggot, man. That's right. That's right, bro. That's right. I got That's something right. real quick. Can I just finish this real quick? Right, real quick. Just, just finish this. No, you good, bro. You good. Uh, let me just finish this out real quick. Uh, uh, because the Lord going to do that work in Edom. It says, and they shall do, because at the hand of his, you know, by the hand of his people, Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger, not our own. We, ain't, we don't hate enough. We ain't mad enough. The yeah. Lord's anger we not. is going to be put on us. Exactly. exactly. You know, it says, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord, power, man. Mm. So it's going to be known, you know, because there ain't going to be no remorse. Right. Ain't going to be no mercy. You know what I'm saying? 
It's just going to be straight uh, uh, <laughs> shit, uh, uh, programmed, mm -hmm. uh, uh, terminated. Terminated. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. <laughs> Pr straight programmed terminators. Take terminators in the earth, he, man. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't yeah. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to stop. Uh, exactly. <laughs> That's what's coming, man. The Lord right. turns to kill him, the killing machines, man. Yep, yep. Those hunters, man, like like you mentioned earlier, man. Let's go. This, this yeah. Joshua 10 and 40. Yep. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills and of the south. And so I'm not a camp. Salakia. Salakia. And of the veil <laughs> and of the springs and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed. Ooh. As the Lord God of Israel commanded, man. Wow. That was a commandment, bro. Yeah. The Lord says, kill every goddamn thing that breathes, man. man. Ooh, yeah. And that was back then. So how much more when the Lord give us glorified bodies, man? That's, right. That's yeah. coming, bro. Yes, and Esau don't want that, man. Nope. That's why he wants you to keep eating pork, yep. eating plastic protein, being goddamn silks, man. Mm -hmm. This is power that's going to come. That's and it's right. already on us, man. The Holy Spirit's already on us, man. Mm -hmm. He's just about to upgrade us, man. That's mm -hmm. right, man. The house of David's back, man. That's right. Man. And Esau can't do nothing about it, man. That's right, baby. Let's go. Let's go, champ. I got a quick one, man. Wait, it's Ecclesiastes 7 and 13 in the GNT. I mean, it's like in the NLT. It says, except the way God does things. Mm -hmm. For who can make straight, who can straighten what he has made crooked, man? Mm. You know? So except, like I said, except the way God does things, and what brothers are going into is the way God does things, man. Exactly. A balanced, a balanced uh, scale, man. Yep. You see, justice, true righteous justice, man. Yep. You see. Now that's like Revelations thirteen nine and ten. That's righteous just judgment, man. What the brother just read about uh, him laying, you know, uh, laying his vengeance, okay, upon Edom by his by his people Israel. Mm -hmm. That's that's righteous justice, bro. Mm -hmm. That's equal. That's balanced, man. Yep. You see? Because them niggas had a hand. They had a time to put their hands upon us. Yep. Now it's our time. Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. You got some? Oh, no. Can I, I, I'll bring this up. Uh, 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 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 8. It says, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them, at that day shall be as David. Man. And the house of David... That's the elect shall be as God, the most high as the as the angel of the Lord before them, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the house of David, man, it, it, like like the Quran was going into, man, it's going to be a powerful thing in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and hey, even the feeble of our nation, man, man it's going to be as David. Man. You know what I'm saying? A hey, hind's feet, you know what I'm saying? A uh, uh, mountain up with wings. You know, jumping over <laughs> high ass. That's why they get that stuff for, for, for Superman, you know. Yep. Uh, who's able to uh, leap a tall building in a sing single bound? You know what I'm saying? King David, man. They get, right. they get these things from the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Because King David was doing those things. You know, had the, the, the bows, uh, 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 blocking uh, uh, the bows of steel with right. his the, the spur on. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's the feeble of, of our nation is going to be like that. So, But the house of David... It's going to be as the Most High himself. Man. Ponder that. <laughs> hey, I want to read this real quick, bro. This is a commentary. Dave, uh, David Guzik. It says, that same verse, it says, In the day, in that day, the Lord will defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the ones who is feeble among them, and that day shall be as David. Now it says, King David was renowned for his fighting ability, mm -hmm. courage, and success. God promised a day when the weakest in Jerusalem mm -hmm. will be as mighty as David. Mm -hmm. And the leaders could only be compared to the might of the most high. There it is. Showing you, man, it's gonna be true power, man. Yep. You see what we people think what we talk about, what we saying that, that yeah. we're fucking crazy, man. Right. You right. see? But here it is, you got Esau, he's trying to do that. He's trying to become a god on the left hand side, man. Right. The whole why you think these different nations make why you think they make these movies? With, with, with people with superhuman strength, right. Superman. Why you think you got all these exactly. animes? Because it's in a man's nature that he wants to be a god, man. Yep. But that blessing was only given to the nation of Israel, man. Yeah. Esau sees what he gave up. Mm -hmm. You see, so he's trying to he's trying to create that cornerly on the left hand side now, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna work, man. You see, only only person that can make you a god is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You see, that's right. He's the only one who can do that, man. You know. 
And Esau's gonna find that out. I mean, he's not Esau's not gonna be able to accomplish that, man. That's right, right. No matter what, I don't care how much technology and this it's already written, man. You see? Because the Lord said there's no God, uh, um, you know, except, you know, by me, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know, so like the brother said, you know, only the Lord can turn you to a God. And us calling ourselves and understanding that we're Israelites, right? You know, so you break that word down in the Hebrew, you know, Yahshua, he prints power. He that has power with Yahweh by Shema mm -hmm. you know, and when did our forefather Jacob or uh, 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 yeah, Jacob get his name changed to Israel or Yahshua? What did he do? He wrestled an angel, man. Our forefather was a, a, a Superman, bro. Yep. Mm -hmm. We come from that stock, man. That's we come it. from that lineage. This man in the same body we in, bro. Right. Okay, except, you know, we know they were bigger back then, mm -hmm. but not too, not, not too terribly bigger. But, bro, he wrestled an angel and prevailed. Mm -hmm. He won. All because he wanted that blessing. He wanted that promise, man. Mm -hmm. And that's us, man. Yep. We want that promise. The Lord, bro, this Bible is, is packed full of promises, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to go, you're going to be, you you truly believe in these promises enough to where you're a wrestler, an uh, angel, man. Mm -hmm. And when? Yes, you, we can as long as the Holy Spirit is upon us, man. That's, right. that, that's in our nature. Esau can't do that. Esau yeah. faints, man. He loses his goddamn job. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, you just mentioned Samson. Go back and read the book of Samson. Yeah. Samson was slaying multitudes of men, you know, by himself. You know, he was slaying thousands. And then, like the King David, all these accounts, you know, and we and you don't uh, have this belief, and you think that we're crazy. I'm going uh, to break out uh, this real quick. This is Isaiah 53, verse 1. It says, Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Hey, you think we're crazy when we bring out these stories and say we're going to be like those men. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The Lord, Lord is willing, like I said, with those men. He's going to make us like that. We won't get tired when we run. All right? You don't have bullets coming, uh, 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 bouncing off of us. Getting uh, uh, powers yeah, yeah. we can heal. <laughs> All these things. Yes, we have faith. We believe. All right? These these are things. Faith is. We, we have faith in it. Mm -hmm. Things that are, are, are not seen, but yet we believe. What is the Hebrews 11? Roughly paraphrasing. All right, this is a substance. This is what we know is gonna come into a uh, 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 reality. But yet, you, you got people thinking, look at that. They they look at them crazy, them crazy niggas on the okay, street. Yeah, they, they, they don't think it's possible. true. Mm -hmm. But we know it's true. We know it's gonna happen. And we don't have number faith boosted when we start to see these prophecies that's starting to happen. Mm -hmm. Knowing this is the prophecy that's coming about. And all of those things, you know, the the, the chariots. All the things that GMS teaches, the chariots, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, uh, the spiritual powers, us being like the <coughs> most high, you know, uh, uh, the people of, of our people being as King David. All the things that we preach is all part of, uh, of the, the preaching of the cross, man. Mm -hmm. So in and the scriptures say that the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness. So uh, Ron Dalton and all whoever. Uh, uh, um, <sighs> What's the one body? One, one body in Yahweh. I can't never think of them niggas. Yeah. <laughs> one body in Yahweh shy. All don't believe in the miracles. You know, all of them. All hey, you're part of the ones that's gonna perish, man. You know what I'm saying? But to us, you know that uh uh what y'all remember how I, was, I know it says something. That's the power of the uh, of the Most High. You know, to oh. us that basically that was given to. Okay, it, it, that's the power oh. of, the, of the Most High. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. <laughs> You know, it's, it's funny you mention one body because they think we're crazy because we break out. All right. So, <laughs> and talking about chips and chips and, and all this. I'm like, nigga, yeah, that's what the scriptures yeah. are talking about, man. Bro, but then they'll turn around and they'll read the mighty man of David. Right. right. They'll read the acts that David did. They'll read the acts, the, the, the acts of Samson, that, that Samson did, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll read the acts of our forefathers and how it took that. That had to be spiritual power back then, man. Right. 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 You know? Right. And the Lord is going to bring that spirit. He's going to bring that back, man. Right, yep. Like the scripture saying in Soraka, I think that's a 36 show new signs. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to bring that old, that old way back, man. Right, yep. We're seeing it happening right now, bro. It's going to be manifest. Right. The Lord is going to bring divine invention back. Man. You know, spiritual man. powers right. are going to come back. Where you're going to have one man. When you read about the the, 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 the dudes that David had, the mighty man of David. Mm -hmm. Yes. You yeah. know, dude slew 800 people by himself, bro. Mm -hmm. What you call that, man? Right. That's spiritual powers, bro. Spiritual right. powers. You'll have trouble with two niggas. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> One, you know? Mm -hmm. Here he slew, he slew 800 men by himself. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on down the line. It, 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 it breaks down all those, what those men did. You see? It was one, he said, he's killing niggas so much. His head cleaved to the sword, mm -hmm. man. That spirit is coming back, man. That's right. So, 1 
first Corinthians and see the world say that's hate. Right. That's hate. When y'all don't love everything, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse uh, 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Mm -hmm. To them that perish foolishness. So again, Ron Dalton, you know, uh, uh, one body in your house, shy, uh, anybody who has a problem with the things that's being taught at GMS, which most of these camps out here do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're, they, they, you know, the, the, they're, you're teaching that the, the MOT to the B is, is a chip. You know, yeah, we're teaching that, man. That's right. what the scripture's going to right. when you go into the word, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, got a problem with the with the with the chariots, you know? Mm -hmm. The scriptures break all these things down, but they're spiritually, if somebody real quick, Romans 8, it, this it's uh, 8 and 5, I believe. They're, these things are spiritually discerned, man. Go ahead, Al. God, it says, uh, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved. It is the power of Yahweh Bashamah. There it is. To us that are saved, it's the power. You know, it's that, that word power has been, been coming up. Bro, yeah. bro, both the brothers, you know what I'm saying? That that power, man, is the power of the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? So this is a very powerful thing, man. You know, period. So so what makes you think that when the scriptures say in Zechariah 12 and 8, we're going to be like the Most High? Right. What makes you uh, feel like you, you, you shouldn't believe that or wouldn't believe that, man? You know, this is a powerful thing. Just us coming back to, you know, into our uh, 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 to our heritage as Israelites. You, you watch, we, we're watching, which the average person can't see it, the nation of Israel coming, that split, them two split kingdoms coming back into one kingdom. Ezekiel 37, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's, that one stick, man. That's powerful, man. Yeah. As far away as we've been taken. That's why it says in the beginning of that chapter, can these bones live? Right. Because they've been taken so freaking far away. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was questioning, damn, can, is this even possible? Yeah. Well, of course, nothing is, is impossible for the Lord, That's right. you know? So, yeah, they can live. And you watching it, man. You, you mm -hmm. watching that life come back into them, 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 them uh, 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 de those, uh, what was it? Uh, dry bones. Them dry bones. That's the word, dry. <coughs> those dry bones, man. Throw out, brother. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're witnessing that as we speak, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and daily, you know, new brothers and, and, and sisters are, are coming in and watching, man. You know what I'm saying? And that, a lot of that goes back to, again, Kyrie Irving they ain't taking nothing away from the prophets, beginning to start with Pastor Har on down, because that's where they get it from. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie Irving, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they got that from the prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? That's out here toiling. You know, the, the, the men of the great millstone beginning to start with Apostle Tahar, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and read that, because these things are spiritually discerned, man. Right. This is Romans 8, verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. And that's what's wrong with Ron Dalton. That's what's wrong with uh, One Body in Yahushua and a lot of these uh, uh, wayward ass groups out here, man, mm -hmm. that's calling themselves Israelites. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, if I can make a quick point, bro. Great Millstone is the only camp that talks about that. It yep. talks about divine intervention, spiritual powers. You don't see chariots. Right. I don't see no other camp talking about that, man. Right. right. That's a part of the scriptures, man. Exactly. That's a part of the Gospels. Yep. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. Bro, you, bro, you, you ashamed of the testimony, man. Right. Uh -huh. You ashamed of the testimony, man. You know, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it doesn't resonate with their spirit. The spirit don't bear witness. So you can't make it, you can't make something bear witness right. if it wasn't there. Right. See, but we was there in the spirit, man. That's why Yahweh shot, or well, uh, second entrance, the, the second chapter says, I take to grace the little ones, right? Uh, uh, um, that have not seen me with bodily eyes, but yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. That's right. mm -hmm. See? That's right. So we can't make you bear witness. So, you know, we get upset, but we, we can't really get upset. Right. Because if you just wasn't there, you just wasn't there. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, so, but hey, but it bear witness to us. That's right. This is why we're going to keep talking about it. Un unapologetically, man. That's right. That's Every right. day, whether you That's like right. it or not. So the hell with you, man. That's right. Oh, God. Uh, back in Romans 8, I started verse uh, 5 at the top. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, mm -hmm. but they that are after the spirit, the things uh, of the spirit. There it is. And, and and again, these things are spiritually discerned, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't go into concordance and get every answer, man. It's not going, you know, a lot of, hey, the concordance is, is a beautiful tool, man. Right. But it doesn't have all the answers. It's, going, it's not going to give you everything, man. Some things are spiritually discerned, man. That's right. Point blank, bottom line, period. You know, you got something about? Go ahead. Proverbs, <coughs> Proverbs 20 and 12 in the NLT. It says, ears to hear and eyes to see. Both are gifts from the Lord. Mm. You see? 
Blessed is he that had ears to hear and eyes to see, man. That's right. You know? Spiritual eyes and ears, man. This is a gift if you if you understand and you believe on these what we're saying, man. Mm -hmm. If you believe on this gospel, man. Mm -hmm. You see? That's a gift from the Lord, man, because don't none of us deserve it, man. That's right. You see? That's right. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise attain her, talking about wisdom, mm -hmm. except the most high gave her to me, mm. and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was. Ooh. I prayed unto the Lord and besought him. And with my whole heart, I said, now I'm going to skip down here to uh, chapter 9 and verse 17. And thy counsel, and what's the Lord's counsel? Isaiah 46 and 10. Prophecy declared the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Doing a counsel of his mind. And thy counsel, who have known, except thou give wisdom mm -hmm. and send thy Holy Spirit from above. See, in John 3 and 27, uh, you know, John the Baptist says a man can receive nothing Except the Father has given unto him, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Including the counsel, the Holy Spirit, man. The words of prophecy. You know, so if you believe the report, hey, good unto you. Good. But if you don't, good unto you. Yep. Well, damned unto you, really. You know, not good unto you. But it's just because the Lord ain't give it. He didn't give you that gift. Yeah, that's right. You know, but unto us, to whose gift that was given unto, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make our call and election sure with it, man. Mm -hmm. What does it say going into your whole heart? Oh yeah, uh, wisdom yeah. Solomon. Uh, oh, okay, Wisdom Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except the Most High gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom, also to know whose gift she was, I prayed unto the Lord and besought him with my whole heart. I said, and, and it's continued yeah. down in chapter 9. Oh, uh, oh well, it was just like you said, he prayed to the, for his whole heart to receive it, because mm -hmm. it takes the Lord for you to receive this whole thing. All right, and he said his whole heart. So basically, you don't try to dissect it and be become a double-minded man. You receive the whole book. Mm -hmm. You know, you receive everything. You don't try to take some and say, "Okay, I'm gonna receive this," but no, nah, I don't want this in the pocket. Bro. I'm not gonna take this. <laughs> right. like, I want you. You receive the whole thing, the whole mm -hmm. gift that the Lord has given you. Hey, man. Oh, okay, my bad. Go no, ahead. no, no, go ahead, brother. I'm just gonna say, didn't Ezekiel say eat the whole roll? Yeah, that's the spirit, brother. That's the hey, spirit. You have it like yeah, yeah, like Jake. You know what I'm saying? Want to get the piece of bread and cut the crust off? Nah, yeah. nigga, eat it all. Eat it all, bro. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Like Passover lamb, you gotta eat it, man. Exactly. You can't. You know, eat half the lamb and spit the rest out. I don't want that part. That's right. Nah, nigga, eat it. You know? That's it. That's yeah. it, bro. Shit. Jake Picky, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Through. Got anything else? Hey, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem Rekakradash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David. The Bayaf Shal Dawada Shalom. Shalom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it should, it should be good now. Should be good.